the Finn Fatales versus the Arctic Guards, these icons piss me off, bro. It's so... I have to make them so small for the thing. And it's like... It looks... It's like a little... It, it looks all, all low quality. Ah, oh, whatever. That's okay. Fin Fatales vs. Galaxy Guards. I think it'll be a good game. I think it'll be a good game. The struggles of graphic design. I hope this game goes to game three, and I really hope Arctic Guards does well. Okay. Um. And. I okay. So when when it, when it comes to the Arctic Guards, of course, their debut performance, the very very first game of the season, I believe it was. If I can remember that correctly, I just remember I casted it and I casted that one. I think it was. Um, they lost six 0 to the Street Sharks. So they have something to prove. They definitely have something to prove. I think the person who has the most to prove is Chan, and he's not playing. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> he I might just be playing. Just be is he is he in the roster and he's just? Uh, I can't find the sheet, so. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I hope Suit was on there. Um. <laughs> yeah, let's go, Suit. Um, I'm on it. I'm on it. Uh, is he yeah, he, he, he is in the roster. Okay. Oh, I found it. I found it. But there we go. I am. We, yeah, Chan is in the roster, so. Yeah, we've got to see what what's going to happen in this game because I mean the Fin Fatales has some very strong fraggers, some very very strong fraggers. And the, I, I feel like the Arctic Guards just have like a very, like, well, it's, it's a, it's a, how do I say it? It's a very, like, uh, it's like a, a very good composition in the sense that I feel like they'll can, like, connect very well. Like, they, they just have the, pers the perfect, like, um, puzzle pieces and they just uh, mix together perfectly, right? I think it's going to be a, a very strong matchup between. See, well, we'll see what happens. Will um, the Fin Fatales frag out a bunch? I think Arctic Guards are going to be more focused on strategy than anything. But, I mean, I'm not one to talk. We'll see what happens in the game. And we have the first time I am casting this map. We're on Slay. And I'm very excited to cast this map. This is one of the ones I've been really, really wanting to be doing. And I finally got in the opportunity to. Hey look, Ezzy, there, there's you in the little in the little cinematic. Um, see, I told you you made a cameo what? at some point. <laughs> oh my god, guys, it's me. <laughs> but um, yeah. oh that's great, lovely cinematic. We're gonna be well. heading right into round one of Slay, and we're gonna be seeing what happens. Oh, we've got B rushing the bottom as well. Orbs going up top. They could get Gecko. If they wanted to, and Marie's gonna be going for a get skate Marie? as well. Gekko might be a uh, kill, but he's got the crossbow. Doesn't connect, but they've got so much aggro up here. And yeah, there, there's gonna connected. be um, Gekko dropped. Now. Aqua manages to get that perk. Floofy's not gonna be able to 1v4 this because it's just a mosh pit. And Marie, instant triple kill. Half the round is not even up, and that is absolute dominance from the very awesome. very dominance. first round wow. incredible aggressive like aggressive pushes on either side it was it was b going in for that flank on on arctic art spawn there and marie just going in after it yeah was, it was i wonder how gecko got so low i uh, m gecko must have been pre-shot um and but he was on five I'm not sure. I don't know. I but Gecko was pretty low early. Orb or oh, it must have been the orb, eh? It the, might have been I think orb. he. I think he must have taken um, six from the orb, and then um, you know, ended up having to it. to you know try and preserve their health. But Marie just went up there. They were slashing through the <laughs> both skate and then Gecko right after, and. Um, Ended up being uh, almost an ace, but um, Alexis went down to Aqua. So it'll be a very solid um, th a triple kill from Marie for the very first round. I mean, hey, that's that's what you want. That's what you want to be a doing. Very strong eh? start, yeah. Getting, <laughs> getting all the kills at the very start of the game. Uh, often I see a lot of triple kills at the very start of the games I end up casting. I don't know why, but. <laughs> I think this is uh, Marie's first game actually playing as is well. It? I think so they were the first on the roster round, first round uh, as a sub. Triple kill. Well, there you go. But That's what you want. It That's seems what you to want. be a thing uh, when you're casting. <laughs> yeah. 
Triple kills I, in I the I think even round. on the last one, I think Tor got like a, um, uh, no, sorry, it was, um, Sprite. Sprite, yeah, Sprite, yeah, Sprite made their first appearance in, um, or not their first appearance, the but their first A-League appearance, and then got a triple kill immediately, just, just now. Uh, well, an hour ago. I, 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 we're a bit off of, <laughs> off of the schedule, but hey, this is what happens when you put games 30 minutes apart from each other, but, um, um, <laughs> hey, come on, you can't expect all these IBL games to be that short, right? It's like, come no, on. No, you really can't. You, you, sometimes, is it, can we see? That's not how I script them, you know? I didn't script them all to be 30 minutes. I scripted them to be um, at least 45. Yeah, I forgot you're the little puppeteer the of, exciting of, of the thing. Yeah. To be fair, no, there have been some pretty uh... good games so far. That, 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 that last game, that is the most like entertaining 6-0 you could ask for. It's just every single round going down to the very last bit. And that, that Street yeah. Sharks reverse sweep in maps was definitely a very strong show of performance. Because that shows more than, uh, arguably, that shows more than just a sweep. Being able to reverse sweep is something completely different. That's because now yeah. you're under pressure. You're up 5-0, no? you're not feeling the pressure. When you're down a map, you definitely are, so... Anyway, back to this game, we've got Femtaz on yellow and Arctic Guards on orange. And we're seeing None all of them the just camping down there, but a deep orb there, they're not going to get hit by it. App wants the pot, and I think it does kind of end up landing. Ark was going to be going for it, gets one. Alexis um, drops Aqua though, and Apple ended up going down to skate at some point, but B's gonna be looking at the middle there. That's gonna force something, and it's gonna force something out of Gecko. Gecko hits them off, and that is going to be B down. Are we looking for a 1v3? We saw Dusan do this the other day. Uh, yeah, okay, well, fair Gecko enough. Should have been looking at this. My, my bad, my bad, guys. There's no reason not to do that. Yeah, of course, there's no reason I not to do that. I cannot blame him at all, no. But that is. Very Correct good me if I'm wrong. There. Correct me if I'm wrong. We are seeing, after my fifth game of casting, the first map not being 3 0. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it's the first time the first map has not been 3 0 in a game I'm casting. I'm seeing some contention early on, and that's what I like to see. The Arctic Guards, they've won a round. They have won a round in the A League, and it's against a team, which, of course, you will be very, very happy winning a round against. And it was a very, very deserved round there as well. Some very strong plays, winning their 1v1s, and then of course, Phil at the end, there's no reason not to do that. Marie was pretty low, they probably could have gotten the kill, but I mean, you saw Doozum the other day, doing the exact same thing for Hang Tin, pulling out possibly, in my opinion, best play of the season yet. Probably one of the best plays of the season, yeah. So it's entirely possible, that's the reason why you fill sometimes, so... Going into round three, who's going to take this one? Because we actually do not know. We've got Arctic Guards on green and Finn Fatales on red. Okay, so we're going to see Skate push up to get the pot there. And there's going to be a lot of util users over here on Alexis, and they are going to want to get some shots on them, so they're rightfully staying behind that box. But this entire side is focusing on them as well. They're going to have to get out of that. Who is this? Aqua's going to have to get out of that. Are they going to drop on Aqua? No, they're going to drop on Apple, though. And Aqua's going to turn it. Marie's up there. And then Fluffy ends up being dropped by Aqua. They have the numbers advantage. And it's going to have to be a 1v3 from Gecko, who is, I think, yet to get a kill Very in IBL. And it's arrows. not going to go. <laughs> yeah, I getting mean... Getting shot from all angles there. Th that was some... That, that was looking actually quite favorable for Arctic Guards at some point. In, especially when Fluffy I... dropped for Apple. But then yeah, Aqua really managed to turn that around. I didn't. I must have missed. Um, I think they Skate Marie one v one. Marie came out on top as well. So um, hey, very very Arctic strong Guard's round. Kind of and Femme Fatale's um, really saw that opportunity and made use of that. Mm -hmm. uh, Aqua going in for that, um, cleaning that that kill on. I believe Fluffy, yes. Yeah, it was Fluffy. Fluffy and I, th very low. I think it was Alexis with them. I think Alexis probably... I can't recall if they jumped down. If they didn't, they probably should have. Because that would have gotten them that kill on Aqua, probably. I'm not going to say it would Oh, they, they tried, but, uh, but they did he, try. was, um, uh, he was there to back off. Well, right, okay. So. See, I, I, I'm going off a little bit off of some poor memory here. But then again, that's like a Street Sharks kind of thing, eh? You don't, you don't want to let your team take 1v1s? 
we got another person right there for her. And on Slay, that isn't no, easy exactly. because there's a lot of... It, you can really struggle from trying to get from one place to another on Slay. So having good positioning on this map is going to be really important because you're going to really want to have your team somewhat in a in, um, like a shared area so they can back each other up. Because it Somewhat is close by the back you are. Yeah, because there are going to be areas which are, in terms of blocks, quite close in distance. But in terms of actually getting there, it can take a very long time on Slay. So it's not just all about no, it's, being it's, close; it's being accessible on Slay. And especially since this map is double layered. Yeah. Um, you can just can't get up that fast. Mm. Um, Triple layered, layered even if elevator, you think yeah. about it. <laughs> also, not very accessible sometimes through the due to the parkour. Mm. Uh, just a lot of layers on this map. Um, so you really got to be careful of that and keep your team in a good position to eventually back you up. You don't overextend too much on this map because that will lose you the round. Okay. Is this it now? No, it's not. <laughs> Another fill round. Okay. So yeah. And now, Finn Fatales are going to be up to one. Arctic Guards are going to try and search for whatever they did in round two to make it work. It might just be winning their, their 1v1s. They might have to try and adapt to being near each other when fighting. I, don't I think know. they played it a lot more aggressive in round two. Yeah. Um, and both teams are, uh, teams are kind of thriving on that right now. Yeah, um, well, we'll see. Arctic Guards on green and Fing Fatales on orange. We're going to see 1B going up. I'm not sure what Floofy is going for here, but they're going to possibly even fall because of it. They're in a very bad spot. Yeah, it looks like Floofy's going to have to fall because of that. Um, Apple on 5 already. Apple on 5 as well. Gecko, Gecko will... Will they get away with this? They really will, won't they? they really no, they won't, they will they? Will. Oh, they will! Yeah. Wow! With all... Four of the Finn Fatales on the middle, they full rush mid, they full rush mid, and it works. It actually works. That is really, really something from the Arctic Guards to full commit to mid when, you know, of course, this map is filled with orbs and something goes wrong. They could fall off of the, I don't know, the sled. Oh, this was meant to be a sled a while ago. <laughs> They can fall off, and it's just, it just doesn't go, <laughs> it just, they if it really doesn't go in their way, they're going to fall off. Fiend Fatales are going to be on there, the... they have a free fill. So it's a yeah. very bold, bold, bold play. But Once hey. you get knocked off, you can't get back up easily. <laughs> so if you didn't realise the I mean, if you started. have a jump potion, then you can, but, oh, sorry, someone needs to reload, I think. Uh, yeah, Gekka or someone. And this they're back. You can keep the ego. So, yeah, that's, and I mean, hey, going all, all, like all in for a fill when you're in, uh, did Floofy actually end up dropping? F no, Floofy didn't even end up dropping, wow. Yeah, w when Floofy takes all that damage, you're going to want to go for a fill because it just doesn't look like the round is going in your favor. You have to resort to something else and it has worked. So we are going into a decider for map one. Who ever thought that I would get this opportunity to, to watch <laughs> something like this? Already looking like a very exciting game, even from map one. Mm. Uh, finally not getting a 3-0. Yeah, and maybe casting. there will be a very a very decisive play in here. That's what I'm looking for. I want there to be a single person who turns this round in their favor and wins it for their team. Because, I mean, I mean that that's the dream when playing IBL, is it not? That really is, yes. You want to be the one to, to win you the map. To, to win you the round, to do whatever, and hey, they're, they're all going to be going for this at the moment, so we'll they see really how this goes. Get that, they really want to get that Twitter graphic in. Oh, of um. course. <laughs> One of these days I'll be on that Twitter graphic, come on now. If I'm playing, if I'm playing <laughs> time, like 16 games or something, come on, surely. Not tonight, tonight, no? Tonight? Dude, you saw me in my last game. It was so, so bad. Now you have it this time. <laughs> the, I believe in it. The birthday carry? Dude, I'm gonna get birthday shit on. No, it's because it's, it's, it's your birthday and I'll have to let you win. That was also scripted, um, by the way, so... Is it? Right, okay. Good to know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, for the first time in my little... I'm not gonna say casting career, in my casting little uh, 
hobby. We Passing have hobby. a decider <laughs> for map one. Arctic Guards on red and Finn Fatales on lime. What's going to happen? These pre-shots couldn't make the difference even. Who knows? Doesn't look like any damage is going to go off. And they are sending three to the side. That orb is pretty... It, it's all right. But we have interesting position from Floofy. They are up and they want some action. But it looks like, is this Marie over here? Yeah, Marie's going to be getting a lot of it. B actually flanks and I miss it. My apologies, stream. Really and now we've got a, right a double flank. Aqua's going to get, oh, no, the berries are going to get Floofy. We have Alexis down here. Marie, they could just go for the, the fill. They, they could just go for the fill, but Gecko getting there. Like was that their the first kill. kill of the IBL? Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> Alexis, going to have to pull something out. The pop is pretty decent. Oh. oh, the water might mess them up. No, but it does go. Oh, this. It doesn't. And Apple just well, took that opportunity. I mean, hey. Get in some mid and get those blocks down. <laughs> Very good. That is smart. <laughs> that is smart. You can't argue with that. You can't argue and, with that. Hey, Finn Fatales, they take map one. After a pretty close decider. Closer than any of the other rounds, I would say. Unless you want to consider round four or, or round three or the, the yeah the round four fill as being really close because it could have really it could have gone really badly for the Arctic Arts if they had not gotten that block in like if that had that gone in half a second later that would have been three one to the Finn Fatales and we'd be going on with our day but we got to the decider and we saw a very very strong showing from uh, the Finn Fatales once again, and the Arctic Guards still putting in more kills than the Finn Fatales in that round. But, even so, I mean, it's it's gonna turn out in the Finn Fatales' favour, because they, um, they, know, they know what they're doing, and <laughs> Izzy's cocked it. But, um, the server's oh my bugging. God. We'll see. I, do, I can't even get into my map section <laughs> menu. This is, uh... Wow, okay. Yeah, take your time. And this time I make sure that you uh, turn on whatever map it is. And What's the issue right now? To say, well, Izzy's like fucking carped it or something. Me. It is like... Okay. Maybe whole... try disbanding and restarting the lobby. Like, and it's, just, it's been the last two hours. Like, uh, I don't know what's happening. Because uh, okay. normally my internet connection is pretty stable, but... I, I think I'm just sure. getting DDoS or something. <laughs> okay, let me change this to actually say that Finn Patels are All right. up a map. And hey, good for them. Okay, we're going on to prison. They're definitely going to want to win. Um, after having a pretty tight 2-1 loss yesterday to Hang Tin. So, they've, they, they're really going to want to bring this one home. And... I, I think they've got they've got almost everything they want to bring it home at the moment. They've got the strong showing in Slay, though that was their map pick. God damn it. <laughs> is he- is- what's going- <laughs> Dude, I swear! <laughs> Um, I put I put it on I put it on the next map and it just doesn't cue me into the next map. It cues me into the map we just played. Like it's literally every single time. Like yeah, literally. Yeah, it's not yeah. Me. You're right. It's literally every single time. No, it's genuinely not me. Like, wait. Um. Oh god, yeah, the next game is meant to be start- uh, meant to have started five minutes ago. I, I'd like to not blame that on, on us. I don't think so. I would blame it on- I'm not gonna blame it on anything. I'm not- I'm not here to stir anything up. But now we just have to wait for this. What's the second map even? I don't even know. I wasn't listening. It's- The second map. It's gonna be prison. Prison? Oh, that's a shame. Uh, if <laughs> the probably would fucking let me queue into the game, but oh yeah, also, um, I don't think we mentioned this. We do have a substitution. Uh, out, um, go out goes skate, and in comes everybody's fourth favorite caster, Chan Diggity Dog, and he'll be here hopefully, um, 
dragging out a little bit on prison. Maybe dragging out a little bit on canal if it goes all the way. And I think it could. I definitely think it could. Will it? We'll see. We'll see. But who's third? What's third? Who's third? Is the best caster. Izzy's third. Oh wow. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not doing a lot of casting, but um, you might you, you might become care. second if uh, Arby's oh, will keeps I? <laughs> keeps, uh, keeps not showing up. The silly the silly Arby's guy, as I'm just Walmart Arby's, I can't compete. Is that so? Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm like I'm like I'm like Arby's, but like bad and yapping. <laughs> okay, well. Going on to the next map, once again Prison, not the first time we're seeing it today. And the last time we saw Prison, I can't recall if it was 3-0 or not, I think it was 3-0 to Street Sharks. But it was a bit, I, I, I enjoyed watching it, because you got to see a lot of just raw battle box in, in Prison, which you don't see a hell of a lot of in, um, you know, any of the, uh, in, in any of the other maps. Especially Paint though. Factory. Especially a uh, map like Paint Factory or Canal. Yeah, maybe it won't um, be as exciting really... coming off of a Slay um, pick instead of a Paint Factory pick. But I think this map has a lot to show because, I mean, I think I think Prison shows the like the rawest level of battle box um, skill compared to the other maps in this lineup. But I mean, that's an opinionated thing. I mean, we'll see how these guys do. Design. So yeah. Queen on With red. A lot of layers. Arctic Guards online. See, Three shots not going. Shots. Nobody's staying up here on either side to pick off the people on the side. We're going to see a 1v1 up here. Floofy's going to have to retreat. And Chan is really there for the back up. B is down and running. They're going to send another person up. And Floofy's getting a lot of shots in. This person, uh, Arco, got very low. And this could go very well. I'm going to have to get real close because I've been blinded. They're going through the tube. Can I get there in time? No, but floofy has got another one. Alexis looking for a 1v1 here. They're going to get the backup though, so it doesn't look Can like it's going to go Marie. Thing, right? Oh no, Chance is going to fail. Yes. There we go. Arctic Guards are still in it. Of course they're still in it. Why wouldn't they be still in it? Because they've taken map one. That was a... Uh, sorry, they've taken uh, round one. And that was round a very, one. very strong showing as well. Floofy getting two picks. Wasn't exactly a strong showing from me, because I was blinded half the time and missing everything. My <laughs> apologies, stream. But, um, this is looking good for Arctic Guards. And, I mean, they're gonna really like that. They're gonna really like getting winning that, that round. round. Winning the getting first that, round that is, like, confidence is the that. best, it's, it's the best feeling. Especially when you're down a map, you win that first round, you know you're in, you're, you know you're in the competition. And now we know that this could be another decider, um, and oh, we oh this could be going to another decider. So, hey, we we can only we can only watch the rest of these rounds. Floofy, double killed there. Not gonna continue. Um, well, uh, Floof, uh, I should say, Floofy got all of the kills for their team with the double. The other two obviously not going down due to a fill from the Arctic Guards, so we didn't see any more kills end up happening. But, that, even so, it was still a very strong performance from Floofy, of course. And, even so, Marie got two kills as well, the only kills on uh, the Pink Fatales that round. So, maybe we're seeing the, the star players on each of these teams being born. Who knows? We'll probably be seeing a lot of the, um, a lot from them uh, across the the IBL season, especially especially in some of the more crucial games coming towards the end of it, where they're really going to want to get into the playoffs. And it's going to be a close close contest in the volcanic division as well, I think. So these so, yeah. these teams they're going to be fighting for this. And this, uh, one 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 game can always make the difference. So, hey, this is why these kind of things are so important. Anyway, round three um, of the of the Battle Box game, so that's why it took so long. But round <laughs> two, 
of the IBL game. We're seeing Finn Fatales online, Arctic Guards on red. Doesn't look like any pre-shots go. This time B will be looking at that angle to try and get some shots in over here. We see two down and someone's going in over here. Is this Marie? It is Marie and they Marie? get pecked off know. by Monty, Chan. Yeah. But we might be seeing a clean here from B. This needs to go the way- Oh, Floofy and- Oh, wow. Okay. See, ah, uh, I'm- uh, Dude, I- I, can't I did not- I did not- I was looking at the- Dude, the I, I, one I, I'm sorry, the guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not good at this. I- It's 2-0. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was... don't even know who filled there. Uh, it was, was it was Arctic Guards. Probably, it was probably Gecko, I think. Yeah, I, I mean, see him around it looked like uh, Arctic Guards were putting themselves in a very strong position in that round anyway. With uh, Chan getting the pick on Marie at the start. Marie winning for a 1v2. Confidence is always good, eh? But probably not the play. Confidence is always good, but probably overextending not the play. can... Easily Maybe they thought it was a 1v1 and it wasn't because someone I think was chilling ar um, around the uh, the corner instead. Sorry, wrong um, score line. Again, you gotta really pay attention um, to all the players' positioning, and that's really hard. Yeah, I've got to play pay, pay more attention to the uh, to the positioning <laughs> than the Even um, actual teams. Hard. <laughs> so yet again, red is Arctic guards, line machine for towels. Arctic guards need one round to send it to the decider. No B people will be seeing us aside, we're going down straight down. into 1v1s, and Chan almost went to 1v1 against B, but they get away in time, but no, Gecko gets the shot! And look, they're already doing a TNT cannon. Doesn't end up connecting, of course, but... Oh, Marie goes with 1v1 down there, but it's very cleanable, and it looks like it might be cleanable, it is cleanable, it's being yeah, cleaned, it's and it's a th it's 3-2 to two in the Arctic Guard's favor. The health situation is not incredible from um, Finn Fatales, they, they can definitely just know? rush this. Oh, but it actually isn't going exactly in their favor. Gecko gets yeah. Dude, I'm so shit at this. I'm so shit at this, bro. I actually can't do this. <laughs> After Guards wins. 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 Very good positioning there on our two Guards. Uh, getting that mid control. It's like, why would uh, they even do that then? Like, you <laughs> just take the fight, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing everything out here. They were also winning their 1v1s uh, very well, like, very well, but they still decided against, um... I think they were more, they were more trying to secure, um, a decider map, really. Um, because they did lose, uh, the first map. So yeah. winning that second map is... Yeah, they're gonna the really like winning that second map with three fucking part. fills. Like, jeez, come on. <laughs> like, just take the 3v2! What if the 2v2 goes bad and then they can't fill because they get 2v1? And it's... it's okay, it's okay. It's the fill, okay. <laughs> it ended up working, it ended up working, and fair play to them. Hey, now we're going to a very, very fun deciding map for the second game in a row. My first A-League deciding map that I get to cast, and it is on a very, very fun one. Hopefully it's right this time. <laughs> maybe maybe give it like a, a 15 second uh, intermission, just in case. But uh, yeah, I think this is going to be one of the, the most fun deciding maps that I'm um, I could uh, if, 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 I, if I wanted a deciding map, I, I would I would I would I would too pick this, uh, like uh, to to cast at least, because you can't ask for a lot more. <laughs> and that map, of course, as stated at the very start of the game, is going to be Canal. Now the positioning on this is going to be what changes all. I think like we're gonna uh, what are we gonna be seeing? We're going to be seeing, of course, most people for four left, zero right, maybe three ones, maybe two twos, maybe zero fours trying to force a rush. We can expect, we can't expect really? anything. We yeah, can't expect anything going well. into Canal. But I think this game is going to be a very, very, very interesting decider. I hope it's not three nil. I want it to be a little bit closer, just for the sake of the stream. <laughs> but hey, we're going to see what happens. Okay. So, going into this one, 1-1 one, one from both teams, I think uh, Arctic Guards are up in rounds though, 4-3, to three. 
Or no, four to five to three. Sorry, five to three. Five to three, yes. And why don't well, what, what are the stats looking like? If this if this rounds an off round, I'll tell you. Um, there are no stats. Oh, no, oh there they are. see, yeah, it's a uh, off round. round. Uh, okay. Uh, I can yeah, get no, 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 I got this. I got this. Come on, now. You got it. No, the go. star the star fragger at the moment. Um, on on both. No, well, out of both of the teams, the star fragger. So no one's surprised. It's Marie. Eight and three. Aqua with a pretty solid um, following up of two and three. Apple and B2225. And then Arctic Guards right now having Alexis as the carry at five and three. Floofy four and four. Gecko two and six. Chan one and one. Skate who is no longer here one and four. What are we going to see? Changing to the stats. Let's find out. First round of the decider. Red is Fim Fatales. And uh, green is whatever. And B's actually going up. What a what a play from B. B wants Floofy gone. They need a retreat. And look at this. They can, they have a three v one here. And Chan is going to drop anyway. But they're all on full health. It seems the rest of them. But now they're not going to be because they are pushing up. Heel goes down there. They are looking at the midfield and it's going to go. Beautiful play from Arctic the Guards there. B had a very solid solid um, play there. But again, Arctic Guards, they, they, their play is is now going to be very readable. It's going to be very readable for Femme Fatale to adapt to. They are pushing up and they are going for the mid because that is their best opportunity yeah, they to really win this game. Yeah, they really play for that mid control. Mm. And it is working out for them. Oh, it is because definitely is working not, out for them. Um, they are loving these giving... spells. That's mo where most of their rounds <laughs> are coming down the to. They're loving the spells. That, that is, is not, um, six three in their favour now in rounds. I think five of them are fills. So... <laughs> that is, yeah. Five fills in six, in, in yeah, six gonna... one rounds. They're gonna love it. Pham they're gonna, gonna, they're gonna really love being up at the moment because... <laughs> Especially being down after that first map, which was really close, might I add. Now, they've got the play in mind, but the thing is, now that they've got the play in mind, you know how else is going to have the play in mind? The Fim Fatales. They're going to know exactly what to look out for. B, they did a, uh, a, a push up the tree, and I mean, it kind of ended up working. It really shouldn't have. But, uh, but... The Arctic Guards, they, Ooh, they didn't, one as well. they, they, they really didn't, I don't think they got all their team focused um, on B in time, and then that ended up getting, I think it was, was it Fluffy or Chan who dropped? It was, it was, it was Chan. Chan, and then, hey, that, that, it didn't make the difference clearly. What will make the difference this time? We'll have to see, yellow is Arctic Guards, up around, orange is Fim Fatales. This time the split from the Arctic Guard side. It's four from them, but it's a two-two split from these guys. And look, they're really going to want it this time. They need to group up for this. They've got the mid control for Fatales now. Floofy is really low. This is a brilliant, brilliant show of strategy from the Fin Fatales. I mean, and there, there's a kill from Aqua, there's a kill from Marie. And Chan's gonna have to 1v3, but he is in a web, so it's in not going web. to go. That is what happens when Fin Fatales wins the round. They it, it, when Fin Fatales wins the round. It's no fill. It's an absolute sweep in in the in in the or what on the on the whatever. Kills wise, yeah. Yeah, it, it it's it, it looks brilliant for them really. They've gotten all yeah, all four of them. No no filling. Only ended up them losing one, which was inevitable because stuff. they jumped in for as many of the kills that they can get. So hey, that is that is as much as they can ask for the Finn Patels. And we are now 1-1 one, one equal two rounds away. It both seems two rounds away from winning the map on map three. We might be seeing an IBL, dare I, dare, dare I say, an IBL classic in this one. Because this is looking pretty, pretty good going into the final, final round. Only three more, maybe two. But we are going to have to see. I feel like Finn Fatales have really well adapted to that. Um, uh, Arctic Guards play. They know the mid control. They're doing a 2-2 split, which can be very risky. But B getting up in the tree actually helps to try and um, stop getting uh, picked off. And then Marie taking the Invis Spark as well to be able to join them. And then also not get picked off. It's practically perfect in strategies. These, this team knows what they're doing yeah. and they're, they're showing it to everyone. So yeah, 1-1, Redis Fim Fatales, 
and line is Arctic Guards. This time, they're also doing the 2-2 split, but this time, um, the Fem Fatales actually all sent for right. And now, Arctic Guards have the mid positioning. Fem Fatales have seen this one before. They know what they need to do. And look, there we go. They know what they need to do. They are pushing up. They are getting the mid control for themselves. They're getting a lot of shots here. One on Chan. The, the heal goes. And we're going to have to see what they're going to do. No, no, no. They're looking at the mid again. And look, the cobwebs Let's are going. Go they want the mid. And B's just in there, slashing. B's coming from the back and getting another even. But the kill goes to Aqua. And there we go. It is another full... Uh, it, it's another set of four kills for the Femme Fatales. Putting them up 2-1. No, the round's not on. No, it was such a good round. The round's not on the screen. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh it was such a good round. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Guys, it's 2 1. It's 2 1, guys. I'm really. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm actually genuinely so I feel so bad. <laughs> Oh no, it's this okay. is what happens when you I do a lay- This is what happens when I do these layouts, I forget. I forget to change. Oh no, you don't read the chat You were telling them in extreme now. detail what happened, so it is- Yeah, it is yeah, you guys, that, that's- is... That's a shout out to all of our, our blind viewers. Um, it's okay, man. <laughs> get in the same- now, now you guys know how to have the same Just experience as them. Just you telling us what's going on is carrying either way. Oh so we god, don't I'm so visual. sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> that's so bad. <laughs> oh lord. It's okay, I don't feel bad. It can happen. <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> God damn it, man. It's okay, just. It was bound to happen. The... It was bound to happen, and it happened. Oh. <laughs> It happens at that point as well, and uh, in the closest a game I've casted has ever been. God, oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh lord. That's okay. That can happen. It is uh, still two one, I believe, to fem. Oh, kill feed. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, uh, this was the kill feed. I think this one. Oh yeah, it was. Yeah, this one. Is this the game? No. So yeah, uh, it was two kills for B, a kill for Aqua, and a kill for Apple, obviously, all for the Arctic Guards dying, no kills to them. So yeah, the, I mean, we're going to be expecting a lot of kills from the Fin Fatales, the Arctic Guards are just trying to counter that with a fill. Well, they do it one more time, put themselves into the deciding round. Green is Arctic Guards, with his Fin Fatales. Look, this time it's 2-2 two, two again, and it's going to be 3-1 on this side. So, they, yeah, Ch they're going to rightfully go for Chan, and there we go. Chan gets picked off. Gecko isn't looking the right way. Apple might be a pick. Floofy wants it. He wants it, Floofy yes. will get it, but it might be a trade. There's good shots over here. They can we kill can Marie, though, and Marie drops. They need to get to mid quick. It's not going to happen. Aqua really should be filling right now. It's not going to happen. There you go. Finn Fatales take happen. the fourth round, win the game. That is exactly what... We were hoping to see in that final round, Finn Fatales were putting up a, a masterclass of a performance there. That was a lot stronger um, than the rest of the rounds for the Arctic Guards as well. That was very strong from the Arctic Guards that round. Yeah, very good and pushes there as well. That, what ends up happening, the, the, the dominance from the Finn Fatales in their actual, like, just straight PvP, that, that is what makes the difference. And in maps, it is 2-1 to the Femme Fatales, and they bring home their first A-League game. After a very close contest in their last one, which they will be feeling like they definitely could have won. That is exactly what you want to see from a, uh, a second IBL A-League appearance. So, hey... That is, very, very a, I'm, and I know that's going to make a lot of people 